With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this question, it is given that vector A that is i cap minus 2j cap plus 3k, and vector B that is minus 2i plus 3j minus 4k cap, and vector C that is i cap minus 3j cap plus lambda k cap. A coplanar. Okay. If the value of lambda is Okay, it is given that three vectors are coplanar. So first of all, we'll write the three vectors. Okay, this is a vector that is i cap minus two j cap plus three k cap. This is my vector a. Similarly, what is my vector b? It is equals to minus two i cap plus three j cap minus four k cap. Okay, and what is vector c given? Vector c is given i minus three j plus lambda k cap. It is given in the question that these three vectors are coplanar. Then we have to find the value of lambda, and four options are given to us. Okay, how we can say that three vectors are coplanar? If three vectors are coplanar, then value of the determinant that is a, b, and c. Okay, its value it will be equals to always zero. This is a property of vector. Okay, so let's find the value of their determinant. Okay, so how we find this? Let me show you here. First, we will draw. Like this here, okay. Like the way we do for determinant, okay. Now put the values over here. Values of a, b, c vector here. Coefficient of i is one. For vector b, it is minus two, and c it is one. Okay. Similarly, coefficient of j it is minus two. Here it will be three and minus three. And here I will add three minus four, and lambda for vector c. And this value must be equal to zero according to question because here. Vectors are coplanar. It is given the question. Okay, vectors are coplanar. Look here, it is given. Vectors are coplanar. Now, just find the value here. We know how to find this. Like the way we do for determinant, it will be one bracket three lambda minus. It will be twelve here. Okay. Now, for second plus two, here minus two lambda, and here plus four. Here I will have plus three, and here I will have six minus three, and this whole is equal to zero. Okay, now solve this further. It will be three lambda minus twelve, and here it will be minus four lambda, and plus eight, and here it will be three multiplied by three. That is nine, equals to zero. Now put the lambda values one side and constant values to other side. Here it will be three lambda minus four lambda that is minus lambda overall, and here minus twelve plus eight will be minus four, minus four plus nine it will be plus five. It will be equals to zero. Okay. So from here, directly it is visible that value of my lambda it will be equals to five. And what we need to find the question value of lambda. Okay, five. Okay, this option four is the correct answer. It is five. It is matching with our. Answer. So this is the right answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.